Hey guys, so we have a little bit of a digital uh, late Christmas gift for you. Only a day late. Yep. We're only a day late with this. <laughs> Don't come for me. <laughs> the day after Christmas, and now that you've gotten all the gifts that you could ever ask for, I'm gonna give you another one. <laughs> and that is to tell you guys the gender of our baby. 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 So we've known the gender for a couple weeks now. Yep. Feels like a month, but. Is it a month? It's probably about a month, yeah. yeah. And we've been we've been keeping it under wraps because we had to wait for it to get confirmed because there was a very small percentage chance that it might be wrong. But now we know, so we can finally tell you guys. But I thought it would be fun before I tell you guys and to make you stick around for the rest of the video. We're gonna test out all the like old wives tales of predicting gender that I've found. So there's so many of these. Some of them like make sense, but some of them are very, very weird and should not exist. And I don't know who thought of them. I picked 13 of the ones that I thought were either interesting or I've heard about before. Why there's 13? Because 13 is an evil number. Jeez. I don't know. So the, <laughs> I don't know. That's just what happened. Cool. I was going to stop at 10, but I found three My other ones I like. So basically we're going to run through each of them, answer them, figure out what the old wives tales say I'm going to have and then we'll see if it's right or not. Cool? Uh, let's see. All right, so the first one, this was actually the first one I had heard and I didn't know it was a thing until I went for my first ultrasound, but it's the heart rate theory. Mm -hmm. And it's if you have a slower heart rate, like under 140 beats per minute, it's supposed to be a boy. And if you have a heart rate over 140 beats per minute, it's a girl. Yeah, and this is at a certain week. Mark, yes, right? you can only do it right at the beginning. The earlier you are, your baby's heart is like, runs very fast. Like right now, I think I can't do this test because all babies' heartbeats start regulating to like what they're supposed to be, like a normal human. <laughs> but in the beginning, when you first hear the heartbeat, that's when you're supposed to base this off of. So when we first heard the heartbeat, it was 163, no. I think. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was 160. No, it was I, it was 132. No, it was not. It was Definitely. never. No, it was Yes, I guarantee it. No, it wasn't. How can we prove this? Okay, so we just looked this up because we can't agree on it, but it says at week nine, and I'm pretty sure at week nine, it was 163, like I was saying. Yes? Yes. Pretty sure it was 169 Three. or six, 163. <laughs> Lauren's not good with numbers, so don't trust her. I'm much better with numbers. Because I remember when we said it, everybody was like, oh, according to the heart rate thing, that means it's a girl. And I was like, how could you possibly know that? I looked it up and it said, there's no evidence for this. Like, my No evidence, it's just a... It's a theory. It's an old wives tale. My sister said my niece's heart rate was in the boy range, yeah. so. All right, show the scorecard. Okay, this is the scorecard. Pink 13. is for girl, blue is for boy, just to keep it easy enough. All right, so the next one is another ultrasound based one, which we don't have in front of us. I'm just gonna show you guys here. <laughs> Again, it's the same wow. one. <laughs> okay, so the skull theory is that you're supposed to look at an ultrasound picture and boys will have bigger and blockier skulls than girls. Mm -hmm. So boys will have like a more defined brow ridge, a square chin, more angled jaws, and girls will have rounder features in the ultrasound. Rounded. I didn't know what this was until I sent a picture of the ultrasound to my sister-in-law who loves this stuff and <laughs> said, oh, according to skull theory, I think it's a girl. So I guess <laughs> that I can't really tell like from either way. Make it pink. Here's the scorecard. It's turning pink. I'm pretty sure it was more round. I did look at ultrasounds. The boy one is much more blocky, yeah. which is interesting. Okay, the next one is supposed to be where your stomach carrying is. So if you're carrying high, it's supposed to be a girl. If you're carrying low, it's supposed to be a boy. I don't know what this means though. What is high and what is low? I think high is kind of like... <laughs> up here? Up here by your, by your neck. <laughs> oh, this baby. <laughs> Joking me. Oh my god. I promised everybody I would give a bump update during this, so. Bump date. A bump date. There we go. So to me. It's still not that big. I would say. Yeah, People you're... keep saying like, oh, you don't look pregnant still. I'm like, uh, to you. See, I would say that's low. What would you say? I would say it's low too. Because my stomach starts up here. I'm going to go low. I'm going to say low. Because I feel like high would be up more towards your rib cage. Yeah. Which is not at all. So yeah, that one we might be too early for. But, uh, <laughs> I'd say we go but I would say side. low. I would say that's low. Because I can't imagine it being lower than that. I don't know where. In your knees? All right, here's the scorecard. Two pink, one blue. We're getting close. What's it going to be? Well, it's good you didn't pick an even number. So well, we can have. Yes, I, I did do that on purpose. Did you? No, no. 
All right, the next one is pregnancy acne. Acne or other types of skin blemishes equals a girl. But if your skin is glowing and flawless, <laughs> it's a boy. My mom has Steal said your this. Beauty. My mom has said this to me so many times when she's like, "Oh, you." You're breaking out. It must be a girl. She's stealing your beauty. And I'm always like, that's not... <laughs> Why would you say that to a pregnant person? Because people are ruthless. It's definitely like an old oh. wives' tale thing that people used to say to pregnant women, but you're already feeling like pretty low about your self-esteem. You're like, I'm getting bigger. Everything hurts. <laughs> like, I have acne. And they're like, well, it's because your baby is stealing all the beauty from you. Yeah. And you're like, well, great. I'm so glad. My mom's probably like, I didn't need to hurt your people. I've been told this by other people too, not just her. But every time I hear it, I'm like, why is this a thing? So yeah, I have definitely, I don't know if I would call it acne, but I've definitely... Couple, you've had a little more acne. I never, ever break out. Like, I've been very never, lucky. Never, ever? Not really. Never, ever get a pimple. Maybe never, like ever. one or two, but I don't yeah. get acne. It's gotten so, better. It was worse in the first trimester, but like all here was all bumps, all here, like all acne it was bumps. Bad, bad. It was bad. You just couldn't see it. If you like ran your hands down my face, you would feel it. Like you see mine? Also, I wear makeup, so you can't tell as much. I'm going to go with girl on this one because yep. my, my skin has definitely not been flawless. If anything, it's been worse. Do, 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 do. Beauty is beef. Three to Stolen. one. All right, the next one. If you're craving sweet things mm -hmm. and you're having a girl, if you're craving salty or sour foods, it's a boy. I'm also spicy. I feel like I haven't really gone one way or the other. Well, here's what I've noticed is you are very... You this like, is why I have you here, though, because I could be like, I, you, I guess... You always like, like sweets after dinner. I've noticed a couple times you've gone for like a salty thing. So I would say... I've noticed a little bit more not sweets. I would go with boy on this one. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Take I, it. I can't tell. Scorecard. Do 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 do. <laughs> Three to two. Girl currently leads. Okay, so this one's really stupid. It's the Chinese Mayan calendar theory. If both your age and the year that you conceived are even, you're having a girl. But if they're both odd, or if one is even and one is odd, you're having a boy. But I feel like, wouldn't you have an entire generation of people having the same gender if they got pregnant at the same age? I mean, it's, it's definitely nonsense. <laughs> yes. My age and the year. Yeah. So 2020 and my age was 31, one's odd and one's yeah. even. So, so it'd be a boy. But then I also did this online with the Chinese calendar and it's a girl. So I'm very confused. Let's go off what, I don't know. What this is saying. All right, the scorecard. Scorecard update. We have a tie. We're tied right tied now. Up. The last one was a little iffy. We don't really yeah, know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. The craving's don't know. also a little iffy. So the next one is the position of the linea nigra, I think how you pronounce it, I, I don't so. know. Which is basically, if you've ever seen like a pregnant belly, there's a dark line that most people get that runs from like your chest down to like... Your knees. Yes. <laughs> down to like your pelvic region. There you go. <laughs> and it's just like a center line that just gets darker are, are you... and then it goes away when you have the baby. So let's take a look at your <laughs> linea nigra. We're getting real person up close personal today. Oh yeah, I see it. But yeah, so okay. this is all lines from my pants. It's right here. See this dark yeah. line that's straight down? It's only up to the belly button. You're having a girl. If it runs past the belly button up toward the ribs, it's a boy. So yours just goes to your so belly button? So it only goes to the belly button. Yeah. Or something. I can see it, what? but it's not as dark as this. I would say I would go with what's darkest right yeah. now. Which, fun fact, ladies, all women have that line, but you just can't see it unless you're pregnant. And then it comes out. Then it gets darker. But it's always there. <laughs> you have one, too. So, okay, so I'm going with girl, girl. on this one, because okay. I can't see it as dark on the top. Girl takes lead, 4-3. Moving on to number eight. Thanks for the commentary. Morning sickness. So more morning sickness means girl. I've heard this before. And if yeah. not, it's a boy. I've heard girl pregnancies tend to be a lot worse as far as nausea and everything goes. I really did not have much nausea at all. It was very, yeah. very, very mild. And I never felt like I had to like run to the bathroom or anything. So I'm going to go with boy on this one. I agree. Would you agree? Back to a tie. 4-4. Four four. <laughs> We're just never. Thank God I did 13. There we go. Boom. Okay, this one is also stupid, and I don't know exactly how we're gonna go about doing it because I can't lay down in here. But it's the wedding ring test. The only reason I put this on is because I've heard of this, and it's like on every popular website. One, I don't okay. know why. Basically, you're supposed to take your wedding ring and tie it to a string, and then hang it above your belly. If it swings in a circle, it's supposed to be a boy. If it swings back and forth, it's supposed to be a girl. 
What if it doesn't swing at all? Perfect. And you're having a deep. <laughs> then I'm, what if I'm perfectly still with holding it? So we don't have string, but have we twine. have twine because we Wrong. live in the 1800s. You guys don't use twine all the time? You guys don't use twine? I don't know why I bought twine. I think it was for a rustic party and we just had a bunch of We had a rustic party? We had a rustic party. Should I just like be like, this? I'm just going to do this. This is not going to work. Go back more. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this looked, I look very uncomfortable. It starts popping up now. It's not doing anything. Do something. Oh, oh, oh. Is that circles or back and forth? I can't tell. It's kind of in a circle. Right? This is stupid. <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to get it on the camera so you can see. It just goes with how you're moving your hand. I'm trying not to move my hand. And how's it going to move? <laughs> maybe it. just setting up energy? Just oh, pick. this is my gender. Just pick one. Oh, now it's going back and forth. I don't know. It was doing circles before. Now it's going back and forth. Yeah, because you're moving. It's not I'm not just... doing anything. Just call it. It's back and forth. I've called it. I think that's a boy. Girl? No, oh, it's a girl. Girl it is. I hated that. <laughs> girl takes the lead. Five to four. Heading into number oh, ten. Like one ahead. Wow. It's coming down to the wire. Okay. So swollen legs and, legs and ankles. This is simple. If your legs and ankles are swollen, it's a boy. You Mine have have not had any swelling, so. Not that I can tell. And it's a girl. Oh, and girls takes a nice commanding lead here. Six to four. Coming down the stretch here. On to number 11. Are you clumsy? I'm going to let you answer this one because I don't know. It says if you've experienced lots of clumsiness during your pregnancy, though, not just in general. It's a boy. If you've been graceful, <laughs> expect a girl. I would say you've Which definitely. Which side would, I, would you go more towards? I would go more towards boy because you've been a little bit clumsy in times. <laughs> Did you see me today? Yes, I see you when you do things. At the store today, every time I would go to get something, I would knock something else over. Yeah. And behind me, I would just hear Bobby go, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Constant, <laughs> constantly judging her. So yeah, I guess you're a little clumsy, so. So, boy? That's a boy. All right. Boys. It's coming down tight to Tight race. It. Six to five. Boys really need to win here to keep it tight. If not, this can win it for the girls. Okay, so headaches. If I've been having headaches that it's supposed to be a boy. I haven't had any headaches. Well, then that answers it. Knock on wood. Make it pink with the commanding. Wait, so did- Seven to five lead. Did they already win? Technically? Girls technically has already won. It's let's, seven to five right now. Let's do number 13 just for fun. Mood swings. If you're happy or mellow, okay. expect a boy. If I'm moody, then it's a girl. I don't think I'm You've moody. been too busy to be moody. <laughs> and or happy or mellow. <laughs> I've just been, just been busy. Just been busy. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say I've been moody. No, I would say normal, happy. At least in the, especially in the beginning, I remember being like, I feel really calm about all this. <laughs> I thought I wouldn't, but I am. I'd say make it blue. All right. Oh, geez. And even though it doesn't matter. So literally. Seven to six. That's ridiculous. Right? One, two, three, four, so, five, six, seven for, for a girl and six for boy. So did we learn that these don't matter because it basically Well, just was... like it is 50-50, this is pretty close to 50-50. I mean, that's fair. I, I don't think besides looking at the biological gender with the ultrasound, you were ever going to know. Okay. I would say the only thing that I would rely a little bit more on would be the skull theory one seems to be very... That one makes sense too. Like, what's funny about these is they're like, this one is pretty accurate. And then you'll have a bunch of people saying, no, it wasn't accurate for me. So like, it's... Well, they're part of the people that it was not accurate for. That's what I mean. It's always a half, it's always a 50-50 shot. So there's always going to be somebody who it worked for and yeah. somebody who it didn't work for. Well, I guess there's really only one thing left to do. Okay, so... Um, we're both very scared to do this, not because we're scared to say. tell you the gender, but we're scared because we don't know. So we have, what we the, have we blasters. Have, we have blasters, blasters here. Two girl, two boy. 50 50. What are we going to pick? So I did read online that you have to do this really hard. You want me just to do one? Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. Yeah. These are supposed to be, I think, outside. It didn't say that though on it. So if something happens, we can sue. <laughs> There was two types of these. There was one with just confetti, which is supposed to be this. And then there was one with confetti and smoke. So if this has smoke that comes out of it, I'm going to be very upset. I got these specifically because I thought they're just confetti. Ready? You guys ready? <laughs> Are you ready? I'm scared. Here we okay. go. Three, two. <laughs> I don't want to do it. One. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's a girl! It's a girl! The old wives tales were correct by one! Yay! Uh, yes. That worked out good. I may have tricked you with all the blue I was wearing, but... Oh, is that what you were trying to do? It's a girl! Yay! Wonder how many of you guessed correctly. I would say most people would probably guess girl. 
Yeah, a lot of people. Because pretty much all of our friends. There was maybe two people of yeah. all the people we asked. Because yeah. before we told people, we were like, what do you think it is? And the majority said girl. Like, I don't know. 90% like, of people said girl. Yeah, I don't know what it was. But we even said girl when we first found out. I felt it like it was like a we girl. We were like, we feel like it's a girl, but we don't know why. Yeah. But then the pregnancy was really easy. And I was like, oh, maybe it's a boy because of this stuff that I read. Hey, six out of six out of 13. Mm. Almost. Yeah. All right, well, that. That's it. <laughs> that was the big news. Yep. Very excited. Can't wait. Yes, we're very excited. We already have a name, even yep. though I'm sure everybody's going to put name suggestions in the comments. Shout That's out to, fine. Quick shout out to everyone not wearing masks and uh, not having me be able to actually go into the ultrasound. Yeah. Thanks, anti-maskers. Yeah, appreciate it. And people who are going to parties and get-togethers and yeah. things. It's great. Just uh, think about other people. I don't know. Empathy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It's kind of cool, I guess. But yeah, we do have a name. But like I said, I'm not gonna not announce. Not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna announce the name until she's born. And it's I'm... so nice to be able to not have to say it anymore. It's like she. Yeah, yeah, I was really scared during streams and stuff. Mm -hmm. I would definitely Ex thought you would say it. I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> I was good. I didn't say it. I keep saying it because I was trying to train myself to not say it in case. But now, now I can train myself to say. She. she. So, yay. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to go clean this up. Yep. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like if you're as excited as us, but I'm sure you won't be as excited as us because nobody can be more excited than us. Yeah. <laughs> Subscribe if you're new. I will keep updating you guys with as much info as possible. But yeah, like I said, not going to announce the name or anything until that's probably the next big yep. news and that's not going to be until it actually happens. So enjoy this little digital Christmas gift. I hope you guys had a awesome holiday and that you all have a great new year. Hopefully. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> Let's try again. We were really excited about last New Year's. I don't yeah. know how to feel about this New Year's. There's a vaccine now. Let's yeah. see, see how things go. All right, bye. <laughs> bye.